This is uh, Joseph recording on John the Hut Dweller channel. Um, I just wanted to address something that one of my friends tried to tell me, tried to kind of argue about God. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my Obama t-shirt, so you can tell who I voted for back in uh, 08. I don't know if I'm the biggest supporter of him anymore, but uh, so don't, don't hold that against me. But um, they had said that they don't believe that they could die, that, that their mind was eternal. They didn't want to use the term soul. Their mind was eternal because energy can't die. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, therefore I'm in, my soul will go on forever. Hmm. Do they not realize that energy is part of the physical world? That basically matter is stored energy, kind of, in a way. Um, this is, this is a, I mean, this is one of the things where I, it's like, I don't even know where to begin to, to mention what's wrong with this statement. This is, this is to not know what energy is. <clears throat> okay, so you believe your soul or your mind is physical, you know, and I'm not talking physical like a, um, a materialist would think the mind is physical, meaning it's just the brain, and if you disturb anything in the brain, you change the brain and the mind. The mind is only the brain. The psyche is only the brain. The soul is only the brain, maybe body. This is somebody who believes that the soul has energy to it. Hmm. Well, energy, if we're talking about the physical world, which is where energy exists, not talking about the energies of God, because we know that God exists outside of space and time, but his energies come into space and time. Um, using thermodynamics or any of the laws of physics to talk about a soul is is really strange it's I mean it's one of these things where I have to assume the person just doesn't know what they're talking about I have to give them the benefit of the doubt because if you don't this person's either crazy or they <laughs> I mean there's really no no two things would okay so you know, and then, uh, or people, and I've heard Ray Comfort do this too. I mean, they'll, they'll go to this thing. Okay, so your body's dead. Where are you at? He was, he was asking Thunder for this. Um, you know, where, where are you, if you're, if you're, you're dead in the body, where are you at? Okay, why don't they just ask Ray Comfort? Okay, um, Flame, right? You see it? Kind of a bad picture of it. Where'd the flame go? What did it never exist in the first place? When the mind, when the mind dies, when the brain dies, there's no action. The atheists believe that the mind is the the brain actually working. You know, interactions, sparks in the brain. Spark is a bad word, but little pulses of electricity go through your brain. And the expression of that, you know, it's kind of like if you demolish a car, you say, oh, where did the car go? The car, but it was moving, it had lights on, that's the so, no. Now, I almost believe in the materialist idea of the mind, except I believe the brain is a receiver. So if you damage the receiver, you'll damage the outcome personally. And we know the science has gotten further on this, that people in near vegetative states, their brain, brain is active. They're almost the same type of person, they just can't communicate it. Similarly with re people who retire, yeah, they may not be able to hold ideas very long, but they're still something like a person, or that, that's what helped to destroy my uh, materialism. <coughs> but this idea that you're, uh, you're putting basically your faith in a scientific statement to think that you as a personality are going to live forever 
Do you know what goes, happens to the energy? I mean, if you're thinking of materialism, and you're thinking, oh, well, I have a soul based on materialism. The energy of your body goes into the ground. When you die, it decomposes. There's still energy in your body. It's still working. It's letting off gases. It decomposes. It goes into the worms that that eat your flesh. It's not, there's nothing conscious or you in it, which was my trouble with Hinduism, because if you get to the final state of Brahman, you expel everything that is your identity. So how how is it? How are you in an afterlife? All of your individual thoughts. You know, it's almost like the energy, the essence of your body, um, all gets depleted into this ocean of consciousness, or you know, or material. You can go either way. I mean, you can almost argue points of materialism and atheism inside Hinduism. Of course, uh, many of the uh, ancient pagans were materialists surprisingly and we still label them pagans because they existed in Greek and Rome and they were Christian which would have a different kind which when you say pagan today a lot of people a lot of these people with neo-paganism think about jumping around a tree and believing in gods and goddesses and form of pantheism which is not what paganism was but Okay, but yeah, I just wanted to t touch on this and talk about the uh, the uh, the idea of the mind and uh, proof for the soul, and the idea of energy can't die as being a proof for the soul. <laughs> An atheist would tear that to shreds, especially somebody like Thunderfoot. And as for his Ray Comfort arguments of, well, if you're in the ground, well, then where are you? You kind of get where I'm doing right now. You kind of get a blank stare. Maybe somebody looking at you weird. It's kind of like a dog when it cocks his head. I always tell my nephew whenever, whenever a little puppy cocks its head, that means there's a question mark over its head. You know, or whenever the ears go up. You know, you'll get that look because it's such a basic ignorance. Not even, I wouldn't say ignorance because you have to have some idea, some some knowledge of it. It's a complete misunderstanding. And I don't know if I should fault the individual. I'm certainly not going to get angry at my friend. Usually, if I even if I fault somebody, I don't get angry. I'm not that type of person to get angry at people. You know, I may get very, very passionate about views or somebody's reaction, but as the person themselves, uh, it's just not not in my nature. Um, I, I don't know. I think we have to blame the school system <laughs> if we're looking to place blame. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention, just bring this up. I, I want, I'd uh, be interested in getting you guys' thoughts on it. So there it is.